And now sports with Brandon Kinnock. One, two, three, four, five local teams will compete in this week's state basketball tournament, including Brilliant, which is celebrating the 10 year anniversary of its program's only state title. As the Lions get ready to head to Madison, they're confident they can add another gold ball to that trophy case. Brilliant wins their first ever state championship. Just about everyone on this year's Brilliant team has a tie to that championship squad 10 years ago. My oldest son was a ball boy at the time. My brother was actually on the, that team. I was at that game. So, I mean, I was young, a lot younger, but so I remember parts of it. Lanky with a pump fake. Got it. Growing up in Brilliant, everyone's wanted to get back to that point. And I mean, I've been dreaming of it since I was a little kid. Current coach Chad Shimmick was an assistant on that team. Those are great experiences and kind of spoiled early on to go as many times as we did. And, and now obviously being a head coach and 10 years later, um, it really makes you appreciate the opportunity to go again. From 2010 to 2014, the Lions went to state three times in a five year span. After a sectional final loss last year, this year's squad got over the hump and got back to Madison. We knew we had the team that we would be able to compete. Um, you never really think you're going to get there because there's so many things that have to fall into place for you. And to be honest with you, we played some good basketball this postseason, but we also had some things go our way. Brilliant has had to come from behind in three of its first four tournament games. In Saturday's sectional final, they overcame a 13-point deficit, beating Freedom 39-38 to and clinching the game with a defensive stop in the closing seconds. It was wild. I mean, there were a lot of times where you don't know if maybe that'll be your last game. So obviously it's exciting to pull out those close games and guys stepped up, but it was definitely a wild ride of emotion. After punching their ticket to state, the battle-tested brilliant team was seated last out of four Division three schools. Being the four seed, it's probably the first time this year that like, all the pressure of winning isn't necessarily on us. We're technically supposed to lose, so but I think that we're pretty focused and just ready to get to work. And not ready to settle for anything less than a gold ball. No one wants to go down there just because it's cool to like be there. Everyone wants to go down there and play and hopefully put ourselves in positions to get some wins and hopefully come home with the trophy. Oh, Brilliant will open the tournament Thursday afternoon. They play the first of 15 games throughout the weekend, taking on top-seeded West Salem in the Division Three semifinals. Tip time set for 1.35 Thursday afternoon at the Cole Center.